I'm Steve Tarano with Ask a Real Expert. This video answer is going out to Mind Festival. He says, Steve, I'm six foot two, and when I do bent over barbell rows, I don't quite feel it in my back, and as a matter of fact, I roll my back. Got any suggestions? Well, this is a very difficult exercise. It's a good exercise, but it's very hard to do. And it can be done in two ways. With an overhand wide grip, the way Arnold used to do them, and then you can do them with a reverse narrow grip, which is about as wide as your hips. With the overhand wide grip, the bar is pulled into the lower chest. With the reverse underhand grip, the bar is pulled into the lower waist. With both those exercises, you sort of want to bend over at about, let's say, 30 degrees from parallel with the floor. So if this is parallel with the floor, you bend over like that. And that helps keep a little bit of tightness in the lower back. But both these exercises are very, very hard on the spine. They put not hundreds, but thousands of pounds of pressure on the vertebrae in the lower back. So you don't see a lot of guys doing them in the gym. And it's probably because there are so many other exercise machines now available that they didn't have 100 years ago. I mean, you've got uh, T-bar machines where you can rest your chest, pull the weight off, and do a T-bar row. You've got uh, a variety of hammer strength row machines, upright T-bar rows. You've got a variety of just regular rowing machines. You've got seated cables with a variety of hand positions, close, uh, wide, reverse. You've got dumbbell rows, not to mention all the pull-down exercises with an overhand wide grip, reverse grip, close grip. So my suggestion would be incorporate barbell or T-bar rows using a machine. It's much, much safer because the chest is supported, takes a lot of pressure off the lower back. And again, I tell people free weights is always the best, but if you add some additional weight, a machine will supplement, especially if the machine is much safer. Better that you train with a machine and be safer than risk injury with free weights. And you got to remember, the purpose of the back muscles are to pull the arms down from above and into the waist. So typically when I train my back, I usually do four exercises. I do two where I pull, down the, pull the weight down from above and two where I pull it into the waist. And again, you've got seated cable rows, one-arm dumbbell rows, a variety of row machines, T-bars, as well as a variety of pull-down machines. When it comes to chin-ups and pull-ups, unless you have big strength, I would skip those until you get enough strength in your back and your biceps uh, so you can you know, do chin-ups and pull-ups. Just trying to squeeze out one or two or doing back on those machines where you stand on the little platform and it lifts you up, that's the same thing as a pull down. Why goof around with that? Until you can actually do five or six, six or eight pull-ups or chin-ups, save your time, gain your strength in your biceps and your back using uh, machines and weights, and then you can worry about chin-ups. Hope that answers your question. I'll talk to you later. Train smart, train hard.